Belgium is the national spirit of Belgium. One bottle and it's a one-off. Two and it's a comparison, but three makes it a theme day. I love Geneva, and I also love my friend who travels to the Netherlands a lot and brings me back bottles I can't get in the States. For the uninitiated, Geneva is unaged grain distillate infused with botanicals, most notably juniper. If it sounds similar to gin, that's because it basically is. Rather, it's Gin's badass older brother that wears a leather jacket and rides a motorcycle. Geneva is the national spirit of Belgium and the Netherlands, was an essential ingredient in many 19th century cocktails, and is what inspired the English to create London Dry Gin. Enough education, first bottle. If you're wondering if this is from the same people that make that other kettle one, yes. Very delicate nose. Kind of smells like vodka. There are some cereal grain notes there. It has a very pleasant flavor. It's very subtle. It's quite smooth. It's only 35% ABV, so that's probably the reason. This isn't bad. I probably wouldn't mix it, though, because the flavors that are there would just get covered up by anything you mixed it with. Second bottle. I know nothing about this except it's the same proof as the previous one. This has even less of a nose than the other one. There are some flavors there similar to the last one, very close to vodka. In the Netherlands, they have a drinking ritual called a kopstut, which is Dutch for headbutt. It's a shot in a beer. I can see myself doing a lot of those with this. And now the bowls. This is the black sheep of the three because it's the only bottle that's aged. Ooh, very fragrant. There is kind of a sameness of a lot of the Genevers that I've had in terms of how they smell. This is no different. I don't know how to describe it besides malty. It smells very good. Oh, terrific. Again, some of the grain notes, but you do get very light fruit notes in there. And also, this does not taste like gin. If you've had London Dry Gin that a friend of mine once likened to drinking a Christmas tree, this does not taste like that at all. The juniper notes that are there are buried underneath malty notes, grain, fruit. Very subtle strawberry notes, too. This is great. This is amazing. I'm a big fan of the Bulls Geneva that comes in the gray bottle. They also have a barrel aged expression that's very good. This is outstanding and it's only 35%. I don't have much of this, but I can't resist making an improved Holland Gin cocktail with it. I'll be right back. One hour later. My improved Holland Gin cocktail is complete. <sighs> that is very nice. Any classic cocktail that has the word improved is just means it's basically an old fashioned with a little bit of maraschino and a very small quantity of absinthe. This is nothing more than a Geneva old fashioned with a bar spoon of maraschino and an absinthe ritz in the glass. But it's terrific. If you live in a city where the bartenders wear either suspenders or a bow tie or sleeve garters, you have to get yourself one of these. It's an amazing drink. Changing the subject, I know everyone is talking about Tiger King. We've been re-watching season two of Ozark uh, to prep for season three. So no season three spoilers. I'm kidding. We've already seen season three. I love that show. I have been fighting the urge to just sit on my sofa and watch TV all day so I ignore recommendations that I get from people. I f***ing love Ozark. The writing and the acting are incredible. I know that Hollywood is on hold indefinitely. I have no idea when season four is coming. It's an outstanding show. And that finale, holy crap. Also, this drink is amazing. Is it an old-fashioned? Is it a Sazerac? I don't know. The Grey Bottle Bulls Geneva is widely available. If you mix at home, get a bottle when all this nonsense is over. That's it for today. Stay safe, follow the advice of professionals, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mmm.